Hi there, it's Patmos and welcome to the second episode of our Ostriff game. And well, let's get our people rolling. Last time we were lucky enough to get all the houses done before the first winter. So, well, none of the families will leave as soon as winter starts. We are working on a farm which we can set up and then use uh, in the next year because winter is coming so then we won't be able to use it. And one of the next things we need to do is make sure that we can provide food to everyone. And how do you do that? Well, you have to set up a market stall, for instance, to make sure that people have a place where they can buy food. But we need to do more, so I'm just going to set up a market stall right there. Easy thing, you don't need to do anything to do to build it. But one of the most important things you need is a trading post. We need to start trading. And, well, it is interesting. I'm just going to build it right there. And once we have a trading post, we can go to other villages, we can trade with them, and that means that we can buy a bit of food, put it in our market stall, and use that to actually make sure that we uh, can attract new villagers, because right now we don't have enough food for steel, we have no housing available and no jobs available. Well, no jobs available is solved pretty easily, because we can just fill out all these, and then of course we have jobs available, and they can work there. Housing available, well, we will be building quite a few houses soon, and that will make sure that we have plenty of room for new people. And then, all we need to do is make sure that we have plenty of food, and well, that's one of the things I will be working on soon. So, let's continue this. I'll build rows of five. don't really know why, but th I like it that way. Just nice rows of five houses. Let's make sure they're all attached. They'll look nice. So yeah, well, there's plenty of housing coming in. And our farm is done, so let's start working on setting up our farm. I'm going to speed up a little bit more because, well, there's a lot of stuff to be done for the next months. We need a manager, which is a female in this case, and of course then we need uh, land where they can actually start to work on. And I'd like to do it like this. I'll do the maximum size, which is 50. Uh, we'll have to see how we can do that in a smart way. I think I'm going to do it somewhat like this. So we'll say, yeah, about 50. Is it right here? No, I'm going to do it a little bit closer to the farm. So... Oh, this is tough. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. 50, which is the max. If you go there, that's too long. You do 50. Let's try 50 again. So make it 50, 50, 50. If we can, at some point. 50, 50, 39. Well, interesting. We'll have to see. Can we get to 50, 50, 50? Too long, it says. Well, almost there. Yep, 50, 50, 50. That's one. I'm going to make three fields. I'll make the next one right here. Now, this won't be a 50, 50, because, yeah, there we can't. All right, we'll have to build it slightly here. Oh, we'll build it something like this. Oh no, I'm going to do it something like this, I guess. Just to make sure that we get the maximum out of this. And then we build another field. Maybe, I don't know, something like this. No, that's just 40. That's not enough. So we'll do it something. Oh, we'll, I'll do it like this then. 50, 50, and then something like this. I don't really care how it looks right now. For now, I think this is fine. No, I don't think it's fine. Let's get rid of them. I go I'm going to build new ones. And I'm just going to start working somewhere here, I think. 
So how far can we go? We can go 50 that way, 50 this way, so that's good. Oh, we c yeah, I'm going to do it like this, perfect. Somewhere here, 50. Let's see, 50, 50, yep. Well, too long it says, 50, I want 50, yeah. Too long. So this is 50, and right here. Yeah, something like this. It doesn't have to be really 50, 50, 50. I mean, it's fine if it's a little bit shorter. And we're going to place two fields right here. Just like this. That's one more. Right. So that way we have pretty good long fields, and that's something I really like. Because they'll then you can put in a lot of crops. And now what you need to do, at least what I'm doing, is look at the nutrients they need. So if you want to have food, you need like weed and buckwheat, etc. If you look at this, you can see that wheat uses 50 of the orange soil, 60 of the green ones, and zero blue ones. And well, this is just 20 and 60. So if you want to do two types of food together, you can actually do weed and buckwheat together without depleting the soil entirely. So we'll do weed, buckwheat, and then we do fallow, which means you don't use it for a season. And that means that all the nutrients will come back. This one, we start off with a fallow, then we do weed, and then we do buckwheat. And then this one, We'll s no, we'll start off with buckwheat, then we'll do nothing, and then we will do wheat. Which means that the first season, field 1 will be wheat, field 2 will be unused, and field, th field 3 will be buckwheat. And this way, each season you get all the things you need, and you don't overuse the land, which is a good thing. Now, we're not. it's set to plow, but we don't have plows, so they can't use it. We can put women into there so they can start working. All we have to do now is activate the fields. And as soon as the year starts, the, s the spring starts, they will start to uh, sow the fields and go to work there. We can get our own food going, which is kind of nice. I do believe we finished the carpenter, which is a good thing as well. Because that means that the carpenter will build stuff for us, but he will also maintain these. So you can see these green bars going down. Once they're completely down, you can't use the cart anymore. And they have to go to the carpenter and he has to do maintenance on them. Well, there he is, picking one up to get some wood, bringing himself some wood. And now he can do all the maintenance we need, which is good. We also need more carts because carts are very important and they can do a lot of work with them. So I'm going to build a cart parking. I'm going to build it close to where they mostly use them. Just right there. I'm going to move it up because we I want the cart thing to be done before the end of the winter. And, well, this is going well, our trading post. So yeah, that's nice. Now, it's winter, as you can see. I really like the way they did that. It, it really gives you a winter feel. There's just snow falling down at the start of winter, and now everything is just looking very chilly and cold. I guess... Maybe something for flavor is that they add some extra clothes to the people so that you can see that it's winter, that they are wearing winter clothes and summer clothes when it's summer. I don't know, maybe that's a feature for later on. But yeah, that could be something to spice things up. And well, this looks okay. Everything is running smoothly. And hopefully we can soon start working the land. I do believe this looks better than what I made before. Uh, this is really on the outskirts of town, so it's fine. I'm not going to build any houses here. This area is going to be completely filled with housing, etc. So yeah, for now this is good. One of the things I also like to do in winter, when these guys don't use too much time to gather trees, is to plant a few trees. Do it something like this. They will plant new trees, they will need a few seasons to grow, and then they can uh, chop them down again for wood. So. Once all this wood is gone, they can use this again. So it's important to regrow forests to keep your wood supply going. Otherwise, if this is all done and they have to work 
walk all the way there or somewhere else then it just uh, takes a lot of travel time and more travel time means less work less productive so that's a good thing to keep in mind all right we need people working in the trading post there they are perfect now what I'd like to do and what I've done a few times before is go to the trade center ourselves the world map select one of the villages which is cheap to go to this one is pretty cheap so let's send a messenger to Balaika so we can buy some food now it will go it's eight days distance so it will take eight days to get there and then we can trade oh there's a someone from the Karchi coming in which is also nice so I'm going to buy some stuff what I'm going to buy well we need iron to get nails done etc so I'm going to buy 500 iron we have plenty of money right now anyway and well let's get some food so we'll get 500 flour we get some salo some sort of meat I think I'm not sure and that's about it that's all we need we can sell them some charcoal actually so yeah I'm going to do that 8,000 that's a lot but we'll deal with that what you need to do is set up charcoal in there. Now I'll set this up to 10,000 and now they will start to gather, to gather that and they will bring it all in. I'm going to do it like this so to make sure you can go there as well that all the trading will go well and we set this up to sell flour and salo and as soon as everything is done and all the trades have come in. Ooh, our villager arrived at Palaika. It's also nice, but I'm not going to buy there anything now because, well, that's not what we want. We don't want to spend too much money. So this is all looking good. They're gathering all the charcoal they need, which is, well, quite a bit, but that's fine. And then we can sell all that stuff, which is great. And as soon as the food comes in, we can welcome new people, which are most welcome because we need a lot of people to come to our village. Especially to work on the farms when we need to do some gathering. Right now we're not building any new houses. We have just one available, but we need the people inside here. As soon as all the trade is done, and there's the first trade coming in, the iron. Of course, when all the trade is done, I will get these people out again and put them to use for different kind of things but for now this is okay there he is and he's unloading the iron that's all unloaded now let's unload the flower perfect I think I don't want them to hire any men I want women to work there which is interesting but yeah that's what I want well, they can start to buy flour now, and as you can see, migration status, everything is green, also enough food for sale. So new people can come in now. So this house is still empty, as you can see, migration status, we've done everything we can, so that's good. A villager from the Yaki is visiting again, so that's fine. Well, we'll let him go. But yeah, this is good, so let's hope that quickly people will come into our town. A new family is settling in town. A mum, a dad, and a small kid. They will come to visit. Or they will come to live with us. I'm going to sell that as well because we need a lot of money. So yeah, first family coming in, which is great actually. I'm going to make sure that we get a few builders again. I want to get rid of this guy. I want a female to go there. So probably should do something like this to make sure that a female will go there. And as you can see right now, they're sowing the land. They won't be using this one, and after that, when this one is done, they will sow that land as well. Now, they're trying to hire a lot of laborers. We don't have any free people, so they can't hire any laborers. But that's fine for now. Uh, it will go fast enough anyway. But later on, it can be very good if you have a few people unemployed that can be used as laborers, so everything will go much quicker. The sowing and, of course, also the harvesting. Now we've constructed another village house so a new family can come in again. Two people working there which is good. Let's hope a new family comes in quickly. I think I'm going to let one of these guys go. He can start to work right here so all the houses will be built quickly. 
Now this one is done, the cart parking, and I really want to move all these carts over to that car parking. As you can see, these two, they need repairs. This guy will do that as soon as we have one there, so... Well, that's a small issue because we need those carts. So I guess we need a guy in there rather quick. Well, he's in the carpentry, so that's a good thing. And the woman is working as a laborer somewhere. Oh, that's fine. Alright, they're sowing this land. This is already growing, so the weed is growing. I'll get into that in a few moments. This is all looking very good. That's all the charcoal we've sold. And, well, we're doing quite okay. We were at 1600, we are now at 2000, so that's looking good. Let's hope they will move the carts there, and I want to buy a new cart, so this guy will make a cart. Which is really interesting. And I think we'll just leave one guy in there. The rest can go do some job. I don't know where they're all working. Oh well. They're doing what they need to do, which is a good thing. This is already done. This is the last one. Yep, there it is. Should be done now. Yep, it's done. That'll start growing now. This is already growing for a while, so... Next fall we can harvest, which is great. Are they already repairing these carts? Not yet. Well, one is being repaired, it seems. So yeah, that's completely restored, so that's a good thing. Let's hope we can fix the other one quickly. And a new cart's already built, so we have four carts in use now, which is good. And another village house is done. Perfect. Now I'm going to set up something we need, which is a windmill. Because if we create weed, we also need to make a flower out of it. And that's what the windmill does. So yeah, I'm going to build a windmill. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. So basically what we do now is we start to produce food. Buckwheat is something we can c easily sell. I can show you right here, you can just sell buckwheat, that's fine. Um, you don't see grain here or wheat because you can't just sell that to people, they can't use it. So that's where you need the windmill, which will make flour out of the grain and flour is a thing we can use. So that's a good thing. And, well, two guys can work in there, and that's all fine. This looks rather good. Let's hope the charcoal burning places will do their job. And resupply us with the charcoal we need. And then, yeah, you can see that stuff is growing, which is nice. Basically, what you need to do in the beginning is make sure that people come in. We have built three extra houses. They're all occupied. Which means that three extra men and three extra women can work. And they have children. We have we got three little children. So for the future we have three extra people as well. So that's really good. And that's important. So basically from here on things will get a little bit easier. Because now that people are coming in, they can uh, you can put them to work. So now we have enough builders. I want one more, but that's we have enough builders. We can get more people into training post quickly. And, yeah, it's it's kind of a hard thing to get there. But once you have the extra houses and people are coming in, this game gets easier. All you need to do now is make sure that when you grow and grow and grow, you provide them with enough food. So for now, one farm will do. But quite quickly, you will need an extra one. Or you will need to generate enough money to make sure that you can buy food. And that's... Bringing my attention to at least another thing, we need a town hall. And there's a very good reason we need that. Not sure where to build it. Well, I think somewhere here should be the center of my city, so... Oh, I'll build it somewhere here. I think this is nice. We can make some sort of a square here. So I'll put it... I'll put it right here. Turn it a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Alright, we'll put it there. Make some sort of a square there. But in the town hall you can manage the wages of your people. And right now they're set pretty high. So if you see here, salary is pretty high. 345 and our total income is 62 last year. 
Now this year we made quite a good income because of all trade. But, well, salary will rise and rise and rise. It's only May. So, in the uh, town hall you can work on the salary, etc. And, well, once that's done I will show you. But it's really important to get that town hall quite quickly because you want to work on lowering the cost you have in your village. And one way to do that is lower salaries. And I think that's an important thing to do. Now it says no jobs available, so you have to keep an eye out on that. And basically what you just need to do is make sure that there are positions that people can go to when they join our village. Now this one is empty now and I want to get rid of it because I want to get rid of this whole place. So I'll just delete these. There's no one here anymore, so that's fine. This will go away on its own once this is all emptied out. And people do want a place to relax, so what I'd like to do always is just get a few benches. You'll see as soon as I place one, people start to come out of their villages, usually quite quickly, and start sitting on those benches. Well, of course, not right now. Oh, you can already see them right here on the benches. So yeah, I'll place a few more. So they have plenty of room to relax. That's important to them. And yeah, this looks good. Don't forget your water supply. We have two water places right now, but you really need a few more. So yeah, I'm going to put that in as well. I'd like to think you need one for every five houses to make sure you have plenty of water for everyone. And yeah, I think if you do it like that, that'll be fine. So, you're building one right here for these five houses, so we also need to build one somewhere right here for those five houses. Now, a new guy is coming in. It's a good thing if you get these messengers from Merefa or Balaikla, or Derkachi, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'll just say something. It's good to see what they offer and what you n can buy from them. Bec for instance, if you want to start working with chickens, you can get live chickens from Merefa, and in Derkachi they have cows. So if you want cows, just send a messenger there, or wait for the one to come in. They will come in every now and then. And you can also see what you can sell them. So yeah, just try to memorize it a little bit, that'll be very helpful course you can always just google it there's plenty of websites that show you what you can get everywhere but I just like to memorize things so if, for instance if you have produced sunflower oil which is quite a good thing to sell because it's easy to produce it's nice if you get the message from Harifa because there you can just sell a lot of sunflower oil now we don't need any of these so I'm not going to buy anything just going to let that messenger go and we're not really selling anything besides charcoal and they don't need it there so yeah nothing to be done right there no jobs available and no housing available so yeah a family came to live there as well which is good it says no jobs available we'll see about that I do believe there's jobs available but well not going to argue with them but I would like as many people to build because well that just makes houses be done quicker. Next up is the windmill, which is important because once they've harvested this, we need the windmill. So I'll put it on speed 3 again, because we have to do a little bit of waiting. Well, I think it does look nice everywhere, so that's a good thing. We need this water thing quicker because we have quite a few houses. And, well, we do have plenty of water still, but that might change so let's just work on that and ooh, there's a problem people have left there so they're not going to work there new people coming in now this is very interesting because these two can work but these two can work as well so we get four workers just with one family and that's a really good deal I like families like that It's also good to keep in mind that these two, well, they can't marry each other, but they can get married to someone else in the village. So, for instance, this is a female, I think, yeah. 
if we have another family right here living with us that also has a kid in the same age area then they can get married and they can occupy one of your new houses which means you do build a new house but you won't get a new family they will just start to live together so that's a good thing to keep in mind it doesn't always mean that I'll just do it like this so one of them will go here I believe yep there he is perfect now they can chop down trees again you always need two guys in the forestry to make sure they can chop down a tree but just keep it in mind it's not always true that if you build a new house a new family comes in if there's two people in the in the uh, in this village that have fallen in love with each other they can just move into that house as well so just make sure if you really want to grow and we do want to grow that you build plenty of housing and then there shouldn't be an issue now this is done as well I'm not going to put workers in there yet because well we don't have even have any wheat to turn into flour but yeah as soon as they've harvested it we will do that and we will start producing our own flour which means we don't have to buy it we still have plenty in stock so that's not a problem but yeah it's always good to make sure that we don't have to buy it now you can see they really like those benches to sit on there and just have a rest and yeah that's nice well we need wood so these guys really need to start working Get your act together, man. Uh, I always want to build like 10 other things right now. I want to build an extra farm. I want to build an extra cart parking. I want to build, well, you just name it and I want to build it. So, yeah, right now, you just want to make your village explode like crazy, which isn't really realistic. I mean, the way it goes like right now, it's more realistic, just slow development, a new band of villagers coming in and then you can put them to work and then slowly your village grows normally towns don't grow or didn't grow in this area in this age period like where you just build a whole new piece of town a whole new neighborhood with like a few hundred houses and they just all come in there maybe sometimes right now it works like that you just build a whole new part in of a city with like 80 or 100 houses a lot of people coming in, but that's not how it used to work. But we are growing from 22 to 43 people right now, so we've almost doubled our number of people. And yeah, things look kind of good. So I like it. And we're getting closer to the harvest season. They will Crops will stop growing half July and they will start ripening. And as soon as they're ripe, they will be harvested. So yeah, this is looking really good. Now what I'm going to do, unfortunately, if you are enjoying this, I'm going to almost pause the game and I'm going to say goodbye to you because, well, this is it for this episode. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Hopefully in the next episode we can continue the growth of our village by building new houses and providing new jobs for the people to keep them happy, provide them with plenty of food, and well maybe start working on a fruit production change like fish or sunflower oil or whatever we'll see uh, i had fun i hope you did too if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and then i hope to see you in the next episode bye bye